guys, it's Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and this is day 23 of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. Okay, so today's prompt is your favorite, or my favorite, um, like tarot containers. So it could be like bags or boxes or cases or storage units basically for your tarot and oracle decks. Okay, um, so I don't go out of my way to buy boxes. I I am always hopeful that the tarot and oracle decks that I buy come in hard enough boxes where they preserve my decks. So let me give you an idea of some of my favorite types of boxes and then I'll show you um, some other storage type thingies that I have bought uh, for my decks that came, let's say let's say they came shrink wrapped and they didn't have a box or they didn't have anything to put them in. Um, or maybe they're an older type deck and I really like the the box and I don't want the, the box to become damaged, you know, because it's already aged. So I might put it in something just to preserve it that much longer. Okay, so um, boxes like this, this is my uh, Chuckley Oracle deck, um, but I love the hard boxes and I especially love when they have the little ribbon inside so you could just kind of pull up your cards. I think that's just awesome. Um, so yes. If a deck comes like this, I am more than stoked because then I don't have to worry about it. I can travel with it. I can throw it in my purse. You know, the box can get knocked around as much as it wants, but my beautiful cards stay well intact. Um, I think that the um, third edition of The Wild Unknown also has a, a wonderful box as well. Also has that lovely ribbon so that you can pull your cards up. So yes, this these are my favorite types of boxes, but these are the boxes, you know, that, that came with the cards. Um, other types of boxes that, you know, were, you know, originally came with cards. I love the uh, ma Magic and Manifestation um, Affirmation cards. Um, I think this is also a nifty way um, to store the cards. So I'm not one of those people that takes all of my decks out and puts them all in tarot bags or has them all laying around the house because I really don't have the space for that. You know, I have, you know, <laughs> you know, I live with my boyfriend, so I can't, you know, take possession of the entire house. You know, we went half and half on, on buying this house. So, <laughs> you know, he gets half the house, I get half the house. Okay. Um, another type um, of um, I would say storage box that I like is when they have the magnetic closure. So any box that comes like that is awesome. Um, I have a few Oracle decks that have that magnetic closure and I just, I just love it. I don't know. I don't know why. For, I mean, it doesn't make it any better, I guess. It's just, I, I like the magnet. It makes it fancy. Um, also, uh, I don't mind tins, you know, um, like this is my, it's kind of a, a smaller type deck, but this is my Halloween tarot. Um, and I love traveling with this, you know, I definitely know that um, no matter how much this gets banged around, you know, it, this is going to stand up way more <laughs> than this, um, that, you know, my, my deck is going to stay safe. Okay, so... Having said all of that, these are the tarot bags. Um, I don't really buy boxes, I buy tarot bags uh, to store my decks. So um, I have a few bags, the, these bags are a little bit smaller, but they're um, to preserve some of my older decks. So um, like I have my uh, Varskarten, you know, these are kind of a type of La Normandy um, deck, and this is from the 30s, so you can see how you know how old it is and I don't want it to get more damaged so I keep it in this nice little bag so I do that for some of the the older decks that I own um, the pagan other worlds uh, came with a bag um, along with their deck so I don't take the deck out and put it into the bag I just cover the box so that I could preserve the box because I think that the box is also very beautiful so um, that's another deck that I would do that for um, another one, I have like another little tiny bag and, um, some of these bags I had from things that I've bought in the past. So it's not like I went out of my way to buy bags. Some of these bags I just kind of had laying around. <laughs> so, so far the bags you have seen, um, except for this one, this one I actually bought, um, off of Etsy. Um, but this one I have my Indie Wild rune cards in here and I also think that this is a, a nice little box. So I just... I just kind of keep it in here. Okay, um, this is a little, uh, it's the Moon Faces Oracle deck that I got, um, but it came with this nice little felt pouch. 
so I felt no need to buy anything different for this so um, my cards stay in here okay so here's some more bags that I bought off of um, Etsy and they're just kind of plain you know the plain little black bags so for these cards um, they just came shrink wrapped so they didn't have a little tuck box that they came with you know it's not like they had a janky tuck box or anything it's just they didn't have anything you know and I didn't want them to be naked because you know like people get cold they want to be all nakedy so <laughs> so I bought these little bags off of Etsy and you can get some you know good deals that um you know since I'm all the way in California I I usually try to buy stuff that's like from Oregon or you know somewhere in the surrounding states Arizona Nevada Washington um, maybe even as far north as Canada um, but you know I try not to go any farther because you know especially if the tarot bags are um, you know a pretty good price let's say you're paying like five maybe ten dollars you don't want to pay also five and ten dollars in shipping you know to get it across the United States you could just buy it from somebody in a neighboring state or maybe in California that would be fantastic um, this was a giant bag that I already had um, but I like that I can wrap it over and and keep my deck even more protected um, this was a bag that I bought off of Etsy but I loved the nice silver interior so I thought the nice silver lining would go um, fantastic with my first light um, tarot slash oracle deck um, let's see other bags I made sure that this one was a nice big bag I kind of like the wrap around um, I kind of like my my bags to to wrap and protect my my cards even more um, so this had a beautiful uh, green interior and I thought this went very well you see oh, so gold and beautiful with my cosmos tarot I thought that went well together so they stay in there Oops. get them all turned around okay um, this is just another one um, this has a nice blue interior so I thought it went well with the Dame Darcy um, and then um, well as you guys know I own a cat well actually sorry he identifies as a puma. He is not a cat. He is a puma. And so I made sure to get a um, little, little puma pouch, um, of course, uh, for some of my cards. So this, this pouch actually has my, um, my deck that, my personal deck that I made for myself stays in here. Okay. Um, a deck, or deck bags that I uh, spent a little bit more money on, not, not super crazy expensive or anything, um, was from an Etsy shop called My Grandmother's Hands, and I've mentioned them before um, because I really like them and I like what they make. Um, so um, I have my, my decks are in here. It has a little little quartz doodad here, but it just kind of wraps around. It's really the softest leather. So soft, so nice. Ah. Um, but you know, I, um, I have my Raven's Prophecy tarot in here. I thought that kind of went well with the color, rust color of the bag. Um, but as you can see on the inside, it's got that suediness, you know, your cards are totally protected, you know, and it's leather, so you know they're protected on the outside. And then you just kind of wrap it around. So I got it in rust color for that deck. Um, so this deck, yes, I did pull it out of its box. You know those big Llewellyn um, boxes where it's got the super nice, you know, big guidebook and then you get your, your deck of cards. But I don't want to carry around this, you know, massive book um, or box. I don't mind... You know even carrying around boxes this size but you know a freaking encyclopedia box like <laughs> you know my I need to put my cards in something else so I think only in my Llewellyn decks uh, do I have them in something like this um, this one has my green witch tarot I thought that was a, a nice a nice foresty green to put that deck in so um, I got it in rust I got it in forest green um, and I got it in turquoise and turquoise is actually my favorite color um, and so I put my color oracle in here so there you go um, but that's it as far as you know storage pieces for for my decks um, I don't really have a lot of storage pieces um, I don't get you know super fancy it's you know if I have a big crazy box well then I'm gonna take my decks out and put them in something that's a little more transportable otherwise I try to keep them in the boxes that they came in um, 
I am a stickler for keeping things nice and perfect and almost like new even with my you know my jewelry my shoes everything I take impeccable care of everything you know things go to the dry cleaners and you know like for shoes I do take them to the I think the only freaking cobbler in San Diego so that you know yeah I always buy leather shoes I always make sure that everything stays nice so I'm not like you know constantly having to buy more clothes or constantly having to buy more shoes I always buy like super good quality and good quality decks so that they last for years to come so that's that's just me I like to keep things pristine um, so yeah I mean that's it that's my storage stuff I mean let me know what you guys do for your storagey stuff for your tarot and oracle decks and that's it for me so I will see you guys tomorrow all right peace love and chicken grease peace out